Nous allons examiner ce que veut dire le développement dans le domaine du tourisme. Dans cette vidéo, je mettrai sur les focus sur quelques concepts concept générales et je vais me concentrer sur quelques aspects spécifiques du tourisme de tourisme. Tout d'abord, qu'est-ce que le tourisme Il y a plusieurs façons de définir le tourisme. Le tourisme peut être vu sous l'angle des touristes. touristes. It is the combination between a trip and an overnight stay. There are many reasons to motivate tourism, leisure, family meeting, health, education, religion, etc. A few figures to, for you to understand how important tourism is, which is often unknown. In France, there are approximately one in the world, sorry, there are approximately 1 billion tourists, and the figure is increasing. France is the first world destination in terms of uh, visitors uh, visiting France, uh, either French people or foreigners. It is a major economic uh, industry in France and in the world, 9% of the world GDP, 4% of the European one, 6% in France, and it's a source of uh, employment. Une activité très transversale. It is uh, a transversal industry. There is a touristic destination with many services provided. Tourists can buy local products. They can uh, require specific services, which are specific to their needs as tourists, uh, accommodation, food and catering, but also other services which are daily life services. All the qualities in the territory are potential resources, the natural environment, landscapes, uh, the uh, cultural offer, and even the uh, reputation for hospitality of the uh, local inhabitants. This has a lot of impact on the world, positive and negative. Positive impacts, we'll think about uh, the satisfaction of the tourist's need, his well-being, and for the uh, welcoming uh, area, there are perspectives for social and financial development, income, employment, and also a cultural opening due to the fact that there is an exchange between the tourist and the uh, local inhabitants. But there are also negative impacts, for instance, uh, those are intrinsically linked with tourism, transportation, because transportation uses non-renewable energy sources, and uh, also climatic changes. It is possible to optimize uh, transportation and to compensate uh, for the damage, for instance, of planting new trees somewhere on the planet. There are potential impacts on local environments, cultural disturbance, a negative impact on the, on the natural environment. And because of these stakes, many players are involved. Anybody can be a player in the field of tourism. There's a large range of people active in the field of tourism, professionals, companies, public and private companies, association, local administration, local public administration, and local inhabitants. Everybody can be involved in tourism. All these players are autonomous. They don't depend on each other. There's no hierarchy, but they are interdependent in as far as they are trying to meet the tourist needs and they want tourism to be successful. There are obviously problems uh, which are well known but difficult to solve to get these people to coordinate and work as a network. Sustainable development and sustainable tourism. A few definitions. Sustainable tourism is a declination, the application of sustainable development to tourism with a general principle that consists in trying to articulate objective in the three main fields, environmental, economic, social and cultural. There are some specific features in tourism. First of all, economic objectives, social and cultural objectives. Tourism brings together two communities which are normally rather removed from each other. The uh, countries from which the tourists 
exit and those where they uh, do tourism. And very often they go to countries uh, which have a fragile economy, which means a whole lot of things for sustainability. And also the other point is the uh, educational power of tourism. Tourists can become more sensitive to uh, global stakes or environmental stakes, and maybe this helps them acquire better practices. I'd like to uh, now step back and uh, look at two very specific cases. Sustainable tourism must find its place within the uh, sustainable development pattern of a given territory. Sustainable tourism should not compete with legitimate activities and local activities. The other question has to do with the fact that although we have made progress regarding individual behaviors and we can reduce the negative impact of tourism inappropriate consumption or pollution, thanks to individual actions, the progress can be cancelled by the fact that there are many more tourists in the world than there used to be. There's a huge growth in numbers. And I'd like to conclude by um, telling you that uh, sustainable tourism is not a status that can be achieved, but rather a huge, a general progression approach requiring that all players are involved. And obviously the question is, who is the driver of this evolution? It can, it could be a pioneer, a very motivated professional or a uh, counseling uh, body or possibly an environmental organization who thought of uh, creating a quality brand uh, image for sustainable development uh, in the type of housing. And finally, local administrations can also play a very important role in the destination country. All these players have to then uh, win over the other players and get them on board, start collective action and motivate them. There are associations uh, working for sustainable tourism, they have tools have been created, brands, quality brands and uh, advertising and uh, the final result could be a charter. There is a, a European charter for sustain, uh, sustainable tourism in protected areas. In France, this charter covers the uh, protected areas such as uh, regional or national protected parks, natural parks, and if the charter is implemented, the uh, body in charge of managing the park will conduct two types of action. One global action involving all partners with whom a complete strategy is uh, decided for sustainable tourism, and the other part of the action is directly uh, suggested to local companies. The local companies will set up a uh, three-year plan and the voluntary companies will find themselves included in a uh, sustainable tourism network. This is it for my presentation. I did not have time to uh, cover everything. We could look at the problem under the angle of the tourist himself. What does tourist, what do tourists think about sustainable tourism? Are they ready to get involved? And we could also talk under the uh, angle of uh, landscape developers and local economic players.